Automation It's a buzzword nowadays. In the enterprises and data centers, we have different tools to automate the deployment of servers and services, and separate ones to configure and manage the networks. With Juniper's network devices running your network, you can do this from one place. Using our integration points into Ansible or SaltStack allows the administrator to configure and manage the Juniper devices along with other IT devices. Let's see how we can use Ansible integrated with JSnappy from Juniper Networks, a free Python-based tool, to automate your servers and network devices using a single and simple automation. Consider an enterprise data center that hosts some web services running on Linux hosts over a network powered by Junos. The administrator uses an integrated Ansible playbook that configures and deploys the web services and also updates the configuration on the network devices. Once all configuration is updated and the services restarted, Ansible calls on the JSnappy SnapCheck to audit the changes in the network devices. In case of any failures reported, the tool will automatically take the corrective measures. In this case, by loading the rescue or golden configuration. Let's see the scenario in action. Here we execute the Ansible playbook. First, the web server's HTTPD services are restarted. Then, after gathering facts, the interface status of the network devices is verified. It's OK to update the network configuration, so the configuration updates are made on the network devices. Now, let's take a look at the network device interfaces. Seems like a network configuration caused some interfaces to go down. The JSnappy SnapCheck identified this failure and the device on which the test failed. We load the rescue configuration on the affected device and display the status again. Let's go through the Ansible playbook used for this demo. We have created modular YAML files which we have included in this playbook. First, the place and toss YAML. In this file, we restart the HTTPD service running on the server. Next, we gather facts from the network devices using facts gather. This file picks up all devices except those defined as CentOS devices and gets the inventory hostname and Junos version. The next task file, Show Interface YAML, gathers the TERS interface information for all the Gigabit Ethernet interfaces. Then, we update the configurations on the network devices. For this demonstration, let's say there is an error in the configuration. Once the configuration is loaded and committed on the devices, we run the Show Interfaces task to get the summarized view of the interfaces for verification. Then, we audit the changes using taskauditinterfaces.yaml. Here we use JSnappy to run a snap check using the details in the tests interface admin status YAML file. The test interface admin status YAML file executes the RPC get interface information to get all the gigabit Ethernet ports and verify the admin status of all the interfaces. It considers a test successful when the interface status is up. Next, we install the golden or rescue config on the device that failed the JSnappy audit tests based on the personality or the product model. Finally, we take a visual cue of the change with the interface status output. And that's how we use Ansible and JSnappy to automate your services and network together. To get the sample apps used in this demo and many more, visit github.com slash juniper. To learn more about how you can use Ansible and JSnappy to automate your network, visit juniper.net slash techpops.
You may also follow the links in the description below.